So this little guy actually pulled pretty hard. This big little black drum kind of surprised me. So I was catching a lot of small black drum and small uh, white perches that I wasn't really catching um, much of anything big. Mostly just all small, small stuff this day. Catch them all using uh, shrimp on Carolina rigs, just throwing, throwing in some current. That's why I usually fish up. And like I said, it's mostly just all kind of small stuff this day. So since I wasn't catching anything uh, really of size and using shrimp, I decided to start throwing a uh, white chartreuse uh, gulp shrimp that I use you know, all the time. And I uh, started using that, trying to see if I can catch some speckled trout or maybe some red drum or even flounder. And I uh, started doing a little better, catching you know, stuff a little bit bigger size. And I got a few of them on video. Uh, you know, catching some small speckled trout and um, missed a few big ones. But I started doing better on gulp shrimp than what I was doing on uh, regular bait shrimp. So something I've learned while catching these speckled trout is uh, I guess since they're such aggressive feeders, um, a lot of times they'll hit your lure like really hard, like it's bam bam, and uh, but they'll miss it. They won't actually grab it and you grab the hook. So what I've learned to do is when you hit it like that, just to drop your lure, you know, drop your rod, let, you, let your lure just more just like sink like you killed it or something. Let it sink and let it sit there just for a second and then kind of grabs will start kind of, you know, playing with it, start bumping it. And a lot of times that trout will come back and grab that lure and grab the hook and you'll have them. And that's kind of what this one did. It did the same thing. He hit real hard. And I, you know, kind of jerked it just a second. I thought he might have been on there, but he wasn't. And so I, you see me lay my rod down, I kind of drop it for a second. Uh, then what just, you know, a second later he came back and grabbed it. So like I was saying, I'm using a white chartreuse gulp shrimp. Um, most of the time I use um, some Procure shrimp gel with it just for scent reasons. But today I didn't have any, so I was just, use, just using just gulp shrimp. All I'm doing, I'm trying to cast up in some current to where while I'm winding it, it's flowing with the current, not against it. Uh, that way it looks more natural. And all I'm doing is just kind of bumping it real slow across the bottom, trying to make it go up and down just like a shrimp would. You kind of make it pop up and down. And um, usually it works pretty good for me. And uh, I'll show you the actual gulp shrimp, what it looks like in the bag, and the Procure shrimp, uh, shrimp gel, what it looks like. Um, you get the shrimp gel off any online store like Amazon, anything like that. And you get the gulp shrimp from uh, like Walmart, anything like that. trout right here i shouldn't be in such a hurry to get them to the boat i should have just uh, took my time with them and used the net instead of trying to hurry up and get them to the kayak but um him just having such a small uh, soft mouth like that just you know, spit the hook right out made me sick though it's a pretty good size one wish to go gallon in 